Gardening Life Hacks Gardening is more than just a sport. It is a lifestyle, one that helps you relax and unwind while connecting with the nature that surrounds you at the same time. Personally, I find myself at peace whenever I plant roses or pruned trees in my backyard. It is a type of calmness and serenity that I'd never experienced before. Besides, there is nothing more refreshing than watching the flowers you care so much about growing right in front of your eyes. If you are just getting started with gardening, then here is a collection of useful tips that will help you get the hang of this wonderful hobby and make it part of your daily routine. Welcome to Lifehack Line, the channel that roars the secrets of life. Make sure to watch this video until the end because you don't want to miss a thing. And if you don't know us yet, we at Lifehack Lion are specialized in creating life hack ideas, tips and tricks, content that are fun and can absolutely make your life easier. Are you ready to get back out in your garden? Or are you looking for some tips and tricks for beginners to start an outdoor or indoor garden? Then these DIY gardening hacks will save you time and money this season. You'll love some of these genius hacks and budget-friendly gardening tips. Starting at number one, plant in a pot. Ever wish you can reorganize your garden after seeing how the mature plants look? Here's a clever way to do it. You'll need a bunch of pots of the same size, so they'll nest in each other. Put your plants in doubled pots and then bury them at ground level. Whenever you want to change, lift out the top pot and put in a different one. This method is also really slick for bringing plants indoors over the winter. This method is great for quickly changing out seasonal plants and allows for easy experimentation with color and placement of plants and flowers. Number two, micro greenhouse. Do you have a hard time starting seeds or cuttings? Try soda bottle greenhouses. Cut the bottom of a two liter soda bottle and remove the labels. Each seed gets its own micro greenhouse. Remove the greenhouses once the seeds have germinated and cuttings are rooted. Number three, cardboard seed tubes. For an easy and green way to start seeds, save your toilet paper and paper towel tubes. Cut the tubes into two inch lengths and set them in a waterproof tray. Fill the tubes with potting soil and plant your seeds. When the seedlings are ready to move to the garden, Plant them right in their cardboard tube. The cardboard will decompose. Be sure to keep the tube below the soil surface so it doesn't wick moisture away from the roots. Number four, citrus peel starter pot. This is certainly one of the most awesome gardening hacks you will ever come across. As you may already know, every gardener should have several starter pots where he can plant his seedlings and watch them grow. Not only is the starter pot super useful for helping new plants and flowers get the root system they will so much need later on, but they can also serve as a temporary home for plants during winter, especially for those that are highly sensitive to cold. With that in mind, all you need for this awesome citrus peel starter pot is a large lemon that will be carved out. You basically need to turn the lemon into a small pot for your plants and then allow the lemon peel to create the perfectly acidic environment for the seedling to thrive. Number five, healthy plant hydration. Water settling at the bottom of pots can lead to root rot. To combat this problem, cut up old sponges and put them in the bottom of the pot. The sponges retain moisture and create necessary airspace. They also help prevent water from flushing out the bottom. The sponge acts as a water reserve and keeps soil moist longer. Number six, salad bar greenhouse. The next time you hit up a salad bar for lunch, save the plastic clamshell container. It can be reused as a mini greenhouse for starting seeds in the spring. When you're finished with your lunch, wash the container thoroughly. Use an awl and hammer to punch a few small holes in the top part of the container for airflow. Then fill the bottom half with potting mix of your own special seed starting soil. Plant your seeds spreading them out in the container as suggested on the seed packet. Give the seeds a small drink of water and close the lid. Place the container in a sunny spot and patiently wait for your seeds to sprout. The clear plastic container acts like a greenhouse, allowing the sun and the warmth to reach the plants while holding in moisture. Number seven, easy mulch spreading. 
Getting mulch up close to flowers and bushes is easier if the mulch is in a small container. So I place buckets and pails in my wheelbarrow and fill them up with mulch. It doesn't matter much if the mulch misses the bucket and lands in the wheelbarrow. Once you're done dumping the buckets, dump what's left in the wheelbarrow in an open area and spread it out. Number 8. Reuse your eggshells If you used to spend a lot of time at the countryside as a child, then the chances are that you have already seen your parents or your grandparents do this. They took all the used eggshells, smashed them, then combined them with the soil in the backyard. Have you ever asked yourself why do they do it? The reason is rather simple. Eggshells are super rich in calcium, and just as we need lots of calcium to keep your bones and teeth strong, so do plants and flowers. That being said, make sure to carefully store all your eggshells from now on. In a separate container, then smash them until they turn into powder and your plants will love the new fuel. Number 9. Coffee Cup Watering Pot A clean-to-go coffee cup with a lid makes an excellent watering can. The hole in the lid is the perfect size for pouring the water slowly, so you don't overwater your plants. This quick watering can is especially useful for plants such as aloe vera and cacti that won't require much water or for office plants and clean-to-go coffee cups with lids are usually readily available. Be sure to wash the cup and lid thoroughly before reusing it as a watering can. And last but not the least, number 10, Epsom Salt Fertilizer. Epsom salt, hydrated magnesium sulfate, is not for its home remedy uses, but the garden might be the place that it shines the most. Like store-bought fertilizers, Epsom salt contains magnesium, which aids in seed germination, chlorophyll production and absorption of vital nutrients like nitrogen and phosphorus. Most plants grow better with a ratio of 2 teaspoons to 1 gallon of water per month. You can also dilute the Epsom salt with water in a bottle and apply as a foliar spray. Misting the plant greatly increases its growth. This works especially well on vegetables and roses. Happy gardening! Have some smart hacks you've tried through the years? Share them in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Lifehack Lion and make sure to hit the notification bell icon to be the first to watch our newest videos. Thank you so much for watching and until our next Roaring Lifehack Lion video.